everyone and welcome back to the 12 days of Christmas. This batter here that you see is the batter for these yummy yummy lows I'm making. They're called caramel apple lows and believe you me they smell and look like they are delicious because they are made with butter. So I will put the recipe for this in the down bar but I just wanted to take you through how I went about putting them in the pan because the first two I did there's caramel sauce in it caramel you know syrup that you put on ice cream and so you know it's very sticky and so it makes for a real mess when you're I'm using little loaf pans this size here so these I'll put my hand so you can see this size they're just they would be half the size of a regular um, loaf pan so what I did is I sprayed it with um, pan spray. I used my own Misto. And then I cut strips of parchment paper and placed it in the bottom like this. And the batter's going to hold it in. So first you're going to put a half a cup. If you're using a pan like this, you're going to use a half a cup. If you're using a large loaf pan, you'll use a whole cup. Half a cup of batter. And so let me get that done and then I'll take you through the next step. So I've placed half a cup of batter in this little loaf pan and to that you're going to sprinkle it with the topping here which is a mixture of brown sugar, cinnamon and butter and you're just going to put a layer of that on top and it's this generous layer and then the best of all you're going to be using, I'm using just President's Choice Butterscotch um, Sunday topping. So you can use caramel or butterscotch and I'm using a large, large tablespoon here for each layer. And then you're just going to drizzle this all over each layer. So you're going to, once this is done, this layer, you're going to repeat the whole thing. So it'll be batter layer, crumble, then caramel or butterscotch, butterscotch in my case. So here are two little mini loaf pans and they're going to bake in a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes. And I'll be right back to show you how they look when they come out. So these two are out of the oven and I have to say this parchment paper just worked like a charm. I was able to remove them from the pans. All I did was use a knife to loosen up the sides, remove them from the pans and let them cool and pop two more in the oven. So look at these. Can you see there's layers of the sugar and caramel mixture, then the cake, and then this yummy, drippy caramel sauce. Num maroonies. So we'll let these two cool, and then I'll show you how I'm going to package them. So I still have four more loaves to package, but look at how cute these turned out. So I, I put the, wrapped them in saran and then I put them inside of these really nifty plastic bags. I'll show them to you. They look like this. They're called baguettes. And they're kind of a nice, um, this kind of cellophane. Dual purpose, because these cakes are quite sticky, I wrap them in saran first and then put them in the bag. And because they don't quite fit these loaf pans, with the bag in it, it makes it fit better. It just looks better. So I took the coordinating paper to these little loaf liners we made in yesterday's video. And I used my scallop punch and just wrote with a Sharpie caramel apple loaf on the side. Then I took a strip of parchment and adhered it at the bottom. And then tied it with twine. And there you have an amazing little gift for somebody. And believe you me, this is one delicious loaf. It's, oh, it's like a caramel apple in a cake. It's so good. So give these a try. So if you watch yesterday's video and today's, you're all set. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.